Hey, how's it going? Let's get back into this. Let's at least, at least try to find a crow after we talk to this guy. Okay. What's up with him? Is that... He, he just looks like a blob. Well, at least we got all these guys. Oh my... When did we get so hurt? So everybody gets hurt. Well, let's heal... Terry. Loose. Skills, big shot, charge and attack. This drug makes you feel nothing. Oh, wait, I got my joy back. So it feels like I don't I haven't lost anything. Alright, let's try this out. Loose execute. Ooh, nice. Uh, I don't think the second one is as useful as the first one. One thing about it though is that um, it, it's a little bit too quick for me to um, figure out exactly what is going on. Oh fuck. We need someone alive. <sighs> fuck. This guy is way too strong. I can't- I can escape! Yeah, fuck that. We are not messing with that guy. I don't think we're supposed to be able to beat him. I honestly think we were, we were gonna die. <sighs> Shit. Oh, cool. We get to keep the empty bottle. Terry should get like a uh, revive ability to make him very useful. Gotta be careful here. Wait, wait, did I miss something back there? One second, right before I go up here. Hopefully that guy's not gonna... I don't know, he doesn't look like it. He's just sitting down. Was there something above this? Yeah, there is a door here. What the fuck? Shit. Damn it. Wait, I could escape. Brad's party has started to escape. Wait, he's, now he's just gone. Wait, no, I was just here. This is where I came out of. Alright. Well, if I could just get away like that. Yeah. I don't really feel the need to fight just yet. At least not until I have a save. A save the game. I'm very scared I'm gonna die soon. <laughs> Let's see what this guy has. Oh, hello there. My name is Nern. I'm considered the greatest historian of all time. I've gathered a wealth of knowledge about Oloth and what's happened. Many tales you would like to hear? Yeah, I totally care. Boring. Great, now get- what? Get comfy, my boy. I have many a tale to tell, let's see. Wait, what the fuck? <laughs> Alright, it all started with what I like to call the Flash. I was sitting with my wife, God rest her soul, sipping on sweet lemon tea. I believe it was homemade by my sweet li wife, God rest her soul, okay. Or wait, maybe she bought it from the store in a bottle, you know, like a plastic bottle. Well, hold on now. It would be ridiculous to buy a bottle of sweet lemon tea then transfer the con contents into a glass. Why not just drink it from the bottle? I guess maybe so she could put ice in the glass? But then again, making tea, what the fuck is going on, would be just a time consuming, if not more, that sneaky bitch. Anyways, I'll save that story for later. So I'm sitting on my porch drinking sweet lemon tea from a glass, of course, ho ho, when suddenly a great strangeness fills my body. <laughs> What's this music? Something was wrong. I've lived many years and I've never felt something like this before. What do you... <laughs> 
<laughs> Do you know what it was? Yup, it was my rocking chair. That... <laughs> That wooden son of a gun stopped rocking, so I looked down and realized a little rock had gotten caught beneath my chair. Okay, so move it. A rock underneath my rocking chair. What a day. I decided it was time for bed. I had had a little bit too much excitement for one day. Ho ho, I slid into my jammies, brushed my teeth, and said my prayers. As I was climbing into bed, I noticed my wife, God rest her soul, brushing her hair in the bathroom. As I peered across the hall... I feel like I need to read all this, but I feel like I shouldn't. Uh, my body swelled up with emotion. Why can't I be married to an attractive woman? Is it me, my bank account? I'm a tall guy. I work 40 minutes a week. Is that not enough? <laughs> okay. Now my neighbor at the time, uh, Tom Forknight, was very short. His wife, Karen Forknight Plate Burger. Yeah, one of those <laughs> Well, she was more attractive than my wife. I, okay, I feel like this is pointless. She was soft six, whereas my wife was a hard four. What's the deal? I thought women liked tall men. Why was Karen with him? Anyway, my horse of a wife, God rest her soul, crawled into my bed next to me. She started to leave the bedside light on so she could read her book. It was one of her romance novels again. Give me a break, as if I don't already feel inadequate enough. Not only do I have to compete with Tom, now I have to deal with these fictional hunks. Ay ay ay. At this point I had already suppressed the urge of intimacy. I rolled over and tried to sleep. Her beside light was only a minor annoyance. I was able to drift off. Then I woke up to a big flash of light. That's about it. Alright. What? I can tell by the way you're walking away that you don't want to leave. If you really want to hear another story, <laughs> I'll tell you. Once upon a hot summer night, sometime in July, was it July? My local grocery store sells really good eggs in July. I don't know why. Do chickens operate better in heat? Fireworks, maybe? I don't know. I don't want to get off topic. Point is, the eggs last summer were marvelous. Anyways, my wife and I, God bless her soul, went to a barbecue that night. It was held at Dale Spooner's house, well, his backyard. I don't know who the fuck these people are. <laughs> Connie Spooner doesn't want people in her home. I think she's just an uppity, uptight bitch. So at this barbecue, I see none other than, that's right, Tom Forknight. Oh no. Now, earlier in the day, my wife, God rest her soul, had made potato salad for the barbecue. I personally hate potato salad. I'm a mashed kind of fellow, ho ho. So I sat in the TV room, avoiding her till barbecue once. God damn, I hate this guy's in his life. Uh, once we were at the party, I made sure to, to distance myself from my dumb potato bitch wife. God rest her soul. <laughs> you can't say that after you just called her a bitch. I just didn't want anyone to think I would associate with someone that would bring a potato salad. Anyway, Tom and his above mediocre wife were already there. And get this, they brought a fruit salad with whipped cream. The nerve of those fork nights. Needless to say, I gave my wife, God rest her soul, a couple choice words about whipped cream versus potato salad. Son of a bitch. A real tongue lashing. Okay. Thanks for that. Fucking... I want to... I feel like he has something for me, but I don't... Uh, uh, that was so annoying. God damn it. Too much uh, for one day. I gotta find a crow. Where the hell are they? There was nothing there. I feel like he has to have. S well, hello again. Hey, funny seeing you here. You're on your fucking stool. What are you following me or something? Ho ho. Anyway. Okay, I often wondered that all happened here. I can't move either. You can't pass people, can you? What <laughs> was that big flash? Why are we here? Even our night and day cycle is odd. Sometimes days last ages and nights come rarely. And these clouds, so strange. What happened to our earth? Oh well, enough of that boring stuff. I once had a real kooky day at the doctor's office. I was in the waiting room reading a teen magazine. Normally I don't indulge in adolescent publications, but I couldn't resist. I had recently heard the new artist on the radio, Ulysses Utensils. She's some young woman, maybe a boy, I don't know. Either way, that child could really grasp my attention. So I'm reading this magazine because I saw Ulysses on the cover. 
I still wasn't able to identify if it was a man or woman. But as I'm reading, I notice something on the ceiling. I look up to see that there's some water damage. You'd think a doctor would make enough money to maintain his office. Oh, God damn it! There's the music! <laughs> I guess he cares about his cool jet skis more than his patient's comfort and his assumably big house and hard-bodied wife. Okay, I wish my wife was like that. Yeah, of course you do. Fucking loser. Big ol' what? Melons. <laughs> okay. Fucking- Okay, I gotta get out of here. Just then, a droplet of water falls from the ceiling. My eyes trail it all the way down to the ground. I stared at the floor for some time, watching the carpet absorb the water. Suddenly, my attention is caught by a small child. The child was glaring directly at me. I saw the devil looking right back at me beneath his eyes. I got nervous and quickly started directing at my feet as not to aggravate the child. Uh, and that's when I noticed something. I was wearing two different kinds of socks. Okay, golly, I'm all revved up after these thrilling exchanges. Fuck you, dude. Get off. Go away. To be fair, you're a bit of a bore, I, uh, but beggars can't be choosers. I think I'll stick around. I've got many a tale to tell. Well, who the fuck? Nern Guan joined your party. Okay. Wait. Oh, my God. I mean, he shouldn't be talking anymore, I bet. That's just a troll. He can't. I want to see what's up here now that he's gone. Okay, there's nothing. I guess I got a party member. Damn it, I should have saved up all those mags because then he wouldn't have been there, right? He's like looking up. And he's still in his stool. He's <laughs> he's still there. Ah, oh, shit. Well, I can't fight that guy. He's changed though from last time, I think. He was not a disgusting blob. Holy shit, if I fall down there, I'm dead. Oh my god. Um, I'll stop right here. I can't find a damn crow. Okay, alright. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Uh, thanks for watching. I don't know if you like that or not, but oh god, and I'm bleeding. Alright, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.